Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a little while since I've done any update videos on the truck or RCs or anything of that sort, so I decided to go ahead and throw one up here for you guys uh, since it has been a few weeks since I've put anything up on the channel. Uh, last video is kind of being more of the Monster Jam videos, so um, let's go ahead and go over some of the new things that I've done to the truck and some of the stuff that I've got planned for the next couple of weeks. So uh, let me get this camera flipped around and we'll see what happens. All right, so the sun finally decides to come out. Um, it's been raining the past couple of days. The weather's been really weird. You know, springtime weather, normal stuff. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and go over a few of the little details that I've done uh, with the truck. I really haven't done anything major um, yet, but I do have something in the works, something that might be happening within the next two to three weeks. Um, I'm going to stay positive about it. It's definitely not 100%, but uh, the Rough Country 6-inch lift kit might be a thing for this truck. Uh, within the next couple of weeks um, you know the white Jeep we have in here uh, this is my brother's Jeep and it's a project that you know uh, our dad and him have been working on together and dad's been you know apt to purchase you know some new tires and a four inch lift kit for this thing so he told me that he would help me pay for a lift kit for my truck which is awesome because everything on my truck you know I've done 100% myself um, so it's just something that doesn't happen I'm gonna go ahead and take that opportunity you know if it comes along Anyway, um, everything's the same on the truck, you know, nothing different. A uh, little update on the tow mirrors, wanted to throw this out here. I've had these things for four years. I, uh, I was looking through this, the Time Hop app, and uh, it uh, showed me a picture of when I first put these things on, and yeah, that was four years ago, guys, that I've had these on, so um, as far as a long-term review goes, these things have been awesome. I haven't had any problems with them at all. They've stayed in one piece, haven't broken, haven't had any issues, so four years of uh, mirror testing to say the least and uh, yeah they've been great lights still work and everything truck was clean a couple days ago of course I washed it then it started raining you know normal anyway a few front end updates um, redid the bow tie have it painted uh, gloss black with a white summit white uh, well not summit white Olympic white um, outline to uh, you know to match the color of the truck Z71 emblem I was pretty happy with the way this thing turned out because um, as you guys know, the Z portion of it here was red as it comes factory on a 2014 and uh, up Z71 Colorados and Silverados. So with the new lights, lights, I don't know why I say lights because I'm looking at lights, but with the new uh, new trucks coming out and every, every one of them having a red badge, I decided to uh, do something different and make mine black. So I put some vinyl over it and uh, it took me a couple of attempts, but I finally got it right. So I made that black and I'm definitely very happy with the way that turned out and the way that it looks on the front of the truck it really blends in it kind of looks uh, you know gives it a little bit meaner look um, I said lights on the topic of lights I told you guys earlier that I was going to be doing some light projects and uh, I've been messing with headlights all week I've been doing you know using my pro show customs business and doing some installs for uh, for some customers I did uh, two sets of headlights on Monday uh, nothing special, just just installing some new clear ones. But anyway, uh, these came in yesterday. Got a full set of clear, regular headlights and uh, clear park lights uh, for my truck. So uh, these are just the standard, you know, K1500 headlights. But these do have the glare caps in them, and the glare cap here is that thing shown right there. And what that is for is uh, you have really bright bulbs like HIDs, um, like my hat, like I have. It uh, redirects the light, reflects them off of the. Uh, you know the chrome backing and spreads it out how it's supposed to so uh, this should look really good now uh, I'm not used to having you know normal lights um, so it's going to be quite a bit of difference as far as what it looks like now with the projector halos but I think it's going to clean it up a little bit but these lights I bought them as my project I'm going to figure out learn teach myself how to open up a set of headlights and um, you know add some LEDs some halos maybe a projector I don't know um, and close them back up so I'm gonna build me a custom set of headlights I don't know exactly what I want to do as far as color yet if I'm gonna leave them chrome I think I probably will and uh, just add the halos so I'm not sure LED concepts makes a halo you know LED ring that goes around the, the edges of this and the park lights so that's what I'm planning on using um, like I said just to clean up the front ends and I see trucks like this all the time running around with these style of headlights so um, at first, you know, two years ago when I got these lights, they were they were unique to my truck, but now, you know, I see, you know, all sorts of Chevys with them. Um, they might not have the might not have both both the halos, 
might be a little bit different style, but I'm seeing a lot more of them these days, so I've got to change it up because I like to be 100% different, as you guys can probably tell. But yeah, uh, like I said before, Rough Country Lift, hopefully that'll come along. That'd be, that'd be really cool to get that done. So I'm kind of getting excited about that, but really not getting my hopes up extremely high for it because uh, you never know what's going what's gonna to change. And, oh, the inside. I did do something a little bit different to the inside. Well, not really noticeably different, noticeable, but I went to Walmart of all places and got these LED bars. Yeah, you're looking at that wiring, kind of thinking it's messy, but that's how the truck come. Um, I really haven't done anything different with wiring except for adding, you know, some wiring for some stereo stuff and all that. But uh, I've got LED bars, one on that side, just because I wanted a little bit of accent lighting because it's really dark down there. Uh, did I did look over the remote start wiring that Carfi did, and they did a really good job with that, really nice and clean. Uh, but anyway. Got a bar mounted right here, and a bar mounted, like I said, on the other side, so it provides a little bit of accent lighting in the night. Um, definitely looks really good at night. It's concealed, so you can't see it, but uh, it's red, green, blue. Um, it's just directed through the cigarette lighter, and of course I have all the wiring concealed and all that stuff. So that looks cool at night. Just something different I wanted to do, because like I said, it's, it's dark on the floor. And uh, I just wanted some accent lighting. But, yeah. I'm not a huge interior customizer. I think the stock looking interior is just fine for me. I'm more of an exterior kind of, kind of guy. But, I mean, stock interior looks fine. Doesn't need any painted pieces or anything extreme like some people like to do. But, yep. That's pretty much my update. Um, as far as... RC trucks go. If you guys follow my channel for the RC truck stuff, I do. I did sell off my Wheelie King. Um, possibly something. I'm gonna build something else, you know, in the future, but I don't know yet. So we'll see about that. But right now, I'm really focusing on this and getting it the way I want it to. So yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. As always, guys, follow my um, my Instagram. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram. I've been gaining at least a follower a day now. Uh, it's at bad underscore z71 just like this. Um, also got the Facebook page. So Instagram name, at BadZ71. Gonna go ahead and give that a follow, that'd be great. I do a lot of stuff on Instagram now. Um, I'm also uh, trying to update my Facebook page more. I've noticed that I've lost a few followers on it. So I'm trying to get that back up and running how it's supposed to be. And uh, yeah, I'll post those links up in the description, guys, if you don't mind giving them a follow and uh, showing me some support on the old Instagram. So anyway, Take care. Hopefully we'll get to see these changes happening within the next few weeks. Definitely going to make videos and tutorials and all that good stuff. So we'll see you then.